Welcome to a behind the scenes look uh, at a typical ARH cancer care oncology patient. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, how's Diaz been? She's been fine. She's got no symptoms, no... So Diaz's day starts in the hospital with one of our nurses coming forward to find out how his uh, last week has gone, whether there were any adverse events the owner needs to report, whether or not any medication refills are required, and just uh, generally finding out how the pup has done. And you don't have any concerns that you want to address nope. with David? No? Nope. Okay. She's all good. Easy? Yeah. All right. I'll take yeah. her through. Yeah. We'll be about um, half an hour or so, yeah, no and then we'll bring her out. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Come on, Kill. From there, Diaz will be taken to the back area for a, a weight, an up-to-date yes. weight, which is critical for basing our chemotherapy dosing for the day. All the way. Thank you. She's ready. Next up for the patient is a free physical exam and the collection of blood work for analysis to make sure there is adequate rebound of the bone marrow from the last treatment and that to ensure that they are healthy to receive today's dose. Hey Diaz. Hey buddy. Hi. Hey. How are you going? So how is everything going with Diaz at home? Yeah, really good. Okay. No problems at all. All right, so that all looks good. He's feeling his lymph nodes. Okay, that sounds good. Well, we'll just get uh, her blood work run and see how everything looks and then we'll get her dose worked out for the day. Jugular vena puncture is used to collect blood from our chemotherapy patients uh, in order to preserve the peripheral veins for catheters for delivery of the actual chemotherapy. Diaz will be placed in a holding cage for a short while while the blood work is run. The main purpose of doing the blood work is to assess the white blood cell platelet counts and red blood cell counts to ensure adequate bone marrow recovery from the previous chemotherapy and uh, making sure Diaz is safe to receive the dose today. So we just got Diaz's blood work back and checking the values here, um, everything is looking appropriate to proceed with her chemotherapy today. So all good. We have a system of uh, safeguards and checks in place to make sure that the correct patient is getting the correct dose on any given day. Uh, and there's a redundancy of checks uh, which multiple people must sign off on prior to administration of the treatment. So Diaz has gained a little bit of weight, which has increased her dose slightly, but uh, very marginally from the last treatment. Here we're witnessing some protective gear being applied for the safety of personnel working with these chemotherapeutic agents, as they are toxic substances with potential hazardous health consequences. Gross. Go girl. All right, now roll over to the side again. Get my good side. Two and a half mils. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So usually we'll we'll get a, um, a redundancy of checks to make sure that the dose uh, delivered is the prescribed dose. It's a it's just a quality control step in the whole process. A peripheral leg vein is preferred for the administration of chemotherapy, as is shown here, the lateral saphenous vein. A clean vena puncture technique is required to minimize any risk of extravasation, which means any extrusion of the chemical outside of the vein, which can cause a local tissue reaction. Once it's verified that the, the, the fluid line is flowing appropriately and we can be certain of a 
accurate placement of the catheter, the infusion of the chemotherapy will begin. So we've got two and a half mils of lidocaine entering. Mm -hmm. Are you happy for me to start now? Yeah, go ahead. Good girl. Sure. Good chemotherapy. The duration of chemotherapy will vary depending on which medication is being administered, and this can range from 15 seconds to 15 minutes. Good girl. Good girl. And then we do this for a while. Don't worry about looking at me. Good girl. All products that come into contact with chemotherapy are discarded in a chemotherapy waste system for safety reasons. Our usually compliant patients end off their stay with the treat. Who's there? Look who's there. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey, how are you? I'm David. Hello. How good are to you? see you. Good, good, nice good. You. Okay, so she looks great. Yep. Um, everything on physical exam and her blood work all where we want it to be. Yep. Um, we went ahead with the next of the injectable treatments, as you know. Yep. Slightly increased dose because she put on a little bit of weight, mm -hmm. but should be quite tolerable. And um, the little wrap on the leg, as you know, can come off when you get home. She yeah. looks like she might want to take it off herself. <laughs> but um, we'll see her back in two weeks again. Now, it has been three cycles of the chemo regimen started with Sonia, so I would recommend that we repeat some imaging on her at that point so we can more objectively assess internally how everything's looking. Uh, but certainly, outwardly, you know, Everything looks good. Yep. Okay. okay. And as you know, any questions at home, just give us a call. Yep. Okay. All right. No problem. Great. Okay. And thank you. Thanks very much. See you in two weeks.